Electrophysiology is a specialty that deals with the electrical system that keeps our hearts pumping in a normal rhythm. Dr. Eric Burton of Lee Memorial Health System explains the workings of the heart. The heart's a pump that circulates blood and its main responsibility of course is uh, circulating oxygenated blood to the appropriate organs in the body. But that actual contractile process is an electrical one. And so there is an innate electrical system in the heart, which sometimes can go awry, can cause problems, predominantly different types of rhythm problems, either heart rates that are too fast, heart rates that are too slow, either of which could result in ineffective pumping of blood and difficulties in that regard. We asked Dr. Burton what types of electrical problems can occur. Well, the rhythm problems that we see in electrophysiology are predominantly uh, classified in non-life-threatening categories or in potentially life-threatening categories. The latter tends to be in patients who have underlying structural heart disease, some type of prior heart attack or problem with the heart valve, perhaps a prior heart operation, congenital heart disease. And those types of rhythm problems oftentimes can be more concerning and can cause symptoms that sometimes can be uh, more concerning as well, such as lightheadedness, dizziness, or even loss of consciousness. Dr. Burton told us what a pacemaker does. A pacemaker serves as a backup electrical system for the heart. Often as people age, uh, without necessarily any underlying heart disease, or in the setting of some prior heart event, uh, the heart rhythm can become unstable and it can cause the heart rate to get unusually slow, which can cause symptoms of dizziness, lightheadedness, fatigue, shortness of breath. A pacemaker serves as a backup system so that if that heart rate were to get too slow, the pacemaker can recognize that, intervene, speed the heart rate back up, and provide a reasonable heart rate response for the patient. And Dr. Burton explained defibrillating pacemakers. A very reasonable analogy for these defibrillator devices is a backup emergency room or paramedic in your chest that can recognize when and if you were to develop a potentially life-threatening rapid rhythm. And the device can recognize that and stop the rhythm quickly before any serious sequelae occurs. We ask how an electrophysiologist can help with genetic anomalies within the heart. For a small percentage of the general population, they can be born or acquire early in life an extra electrical connection between the upper and lower chambers of the heart. This very, very rarely represents any kind of significant life-threatening issue. However, it can result in the very abrupt and sudden development of rapid heart rates, which can feel as if the heart's racing away. Oftentimes, these extra connections and the rapid heart rates that develop can cause a sensation of the heart racing away. We've developed a technique where we can take a catheter, a long thin tube that we insert through the leg into the heart, and we can actually map and find the exact location of these extra connections. By heating up the tip of the catheter, we can burn out these extra connections, and we can effectively cure the patients of these types of heart rhythm problems. Oftentimes, somebody who has had a long history of rapid heart rhythms that has required a number of different medications that have proven effective can be effectively cured in this simple, relatively straightforward procedure.